Hello everyone! And in this video I'm going to show you how to import your Half-Life 2 Counter-Strike, Sours or Team Fortress or just a models from any Sours engine based game. So in my case I'm going to import custom model this guy, uh, this guy here I messed up one thing and this guy is not animated because this guy without bone bones structure and I'm going to fix it right now so I have two versions of today's max it's uh, it's a 2013 and 2011 but 11 is you know more stable and you know more safe so I'm going to use this version in this video uh, I'm going to import mm, SMD file SMD is Wolf uh, SMD file extension it's for Wolf um, Wolf Sours engine based games also, you know, this uh, extension is m for Half-Life 1 Golden Sours engine, but we're not going to talk about this in this video. We're going to import this guy. So I'm going to... It's only mesh. Okay, let's just import everything. Okay. And this is not animated character it's not animation yet I'm going to first first thing I'm going to do is uh, is you can see uh, this character has bones over here all over his body so now it's okay so now I can I can play with textures of this guy but I'm not going to play it here I'm going to play it later in Unity 3D so I'm going to export this guy to fix it yes yeah, fix it yes export and now I can play with animations let's just apply this one so skip mesh yeah enter okay okay and now this guy is animated you can see it here so it's animation uh, sorry for interruption so this guy is animated okay it's animated a cycle of god damn it who else sorry <coughs> everyone is trying to interrupt me okay so this guy is animated but uh, if we are going to export all all animations with models like this it's going to take all the space of our hard drive disk so i'm going to import only animation like this okay and now i'm going to export this animation only bones so I'm going to call it okay let's just call this animation like underscore walk enter okay and this is going to be imported right into tree not 3D Max Unity 3D and now I can replace this character and now you can see that this is not fixed version it's rotated you know not like it should be R rotated now I'm going to delete this guy and I'm going to put this guy instead so I I have here my texture ready for him and and what's now so this guy this guy should be should have a rig humanoid apply and now let's just uh, try our animations 
so let's just try where is it yeah this one yeah this one ah uh, humanoid apply animations and let's just drag this guy inside of this box okay but can I can I check him instead wait I I want to try it like this can I do this oh I can cool so okay let's just okay a way better let's just make this animation oh I'll uh, just give a name to this uh, animation mm, name will uh, will be the same like this file name so like this uh, loop time, loop this, bake into pose, bake into pose, bake into pose, apply. Okay. And now, what we can do now, we can, we can, we can place this guy inside of one of my enemies. So, we'll just go here copy let us copy its uh, values of transform and put it inside like this and paste component well values and drag it up like this no let us leave it like this like yeah oh this is nice okay and now I'm going to hide this bunch of files here like this hide and leave it like here and now I'm going to create animator for for this guy so I just create a uh, animating controller give a name like this f2 fix it underscore con controller okay let's just enter it and create new state in this state we will have our animation walk this one any state make make transition you know to make it loop loop animation so from any state it, it will uh, it, it will call this animation okay now let us go back to our character and assign proper controller okay so now we can try this game we can try. I forgot to do one important thing, I guess. So our guy, our guy is stuck. But why? Ah! Look!
our guy is okay so what this is enemy number one enemy enemy one here we go I made a mistake let's just move this enemy like this and we have to we have to copy its component and paste it like this and then we, we have to move it inside <laughs> Once again, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot to do this. So, this is our guy. And we have to move it inside, like this.
Thank you for watching this video.